A shrinking population could mean new changes to a local school district. It's trying to adjust to a new future with fewer students. The last U.S. Census shows Bay City's population fell by 7% to fewer than 33,000 residents, and the school district predicts the student population will follow suit. TV5's James Felton tells us the difficult decisions the district might be forced to make. From a population standpoint, it's difficult to continue operating traditional classrooms out of there. If Bay City Public Schools Superintendent Stephen Bigelow gets his way, the days of Lynn's Day Elementary School could be numbered. So at our next board meeting, uh, which is January 10th, we're going to be, I'm going to be asking the board to make a commitment to uh, moving kindergarten through fifth grade out of Lindsday Elementary. Bigelow says enrollment at Lindsday has been in a steady decline for years. In 2018, there were 261 students here. Today, that number is 134. Bigelow tells us one proposal would be to move students to Kolb Elementary School next school year. Bigelow is quick to point out the building that is home to Lindsday Elementary will remain open. We actually have a uh, early childhood preschool program running out of there and that's a program that's growing and uh, we do see that being valuable for for that neighborhood as well. Bigelow understands there may be some families upset by the potential change but he says it's in the best interest of student education. It's a great little school and it served families well for a long time but at some point when we're running classes that are so small um, we're not able to offer what they can get in a larger building. Reporting in Bay City, James Felton, WNEM, TV5. That school board meeting is on January 10th at 7 in the Bay City Central High School Auditorium.